All right, everybody, we're going to start here at 630 with a very important, very hot topic right now that is impacting practically everybody, especially so many people here in the metro, and that is the price of paying rent. Plenty of people showed up to give Albuquerque City Council a piece of their minds last night. Yeah, hundreds of people showed up to make their voices heard and things got heated. Yep. And the thing is, a rent control bill wasn't even on the agenda. Instead, the city was considering sending a letter to state lawmakers asking them to repeal a decades-long ban on rent control. Spencer Schott listened in to last night's meeting, and Spencer, people are passionate about this thing on both sides of the issue. Yeah, Ryan, on both sides. And if there is a perspective on this issue of rent control, the Albuquerque City Council likely heard it last night. Renters and property owners both voiced their views and real impacts that the rent has had on their lives. Multiple tenants shared how their rent has increased more this year than ever before. My rent has gone up <clears throat> twice in four years, unlike my wage. And my apartment building recently sold to an out-of-state investor. If developers are afraid of Albuquerque because they can't charge whatever they want for rent, it means that they don't really care about Albuquerque residents. It means they only care about their profits. They are raising rent and people who have lived here their entire lives are being pushed out. At least 40% of Albuquerque residents are tenants. That is almost half the city. There are far fewer landlords. Please represent the majority, which is the tenants, so we can democratically enact controls on how much landlords can charge us for rents. Now, on the opposite side of the spectrum, property owners and real estate brokers spoke out against rent control, saying it will not only hurt current business, but prevent future developers from coming here. We live and we work in a free market. Milk goes up, gas goes up. We don't get to dictate attorney's fees. We don't get to dictate doctor's fees. We don't get to dictate costs of living. It is not the solution. If anything, it makes things worse. And rent control is not the answer. Um, even suggestion of rent control has negative effects. Rent control negatively impacts the housing market by discouraging construction. The idea of repealing rent control is not going to move the needle in the right direction that you may think. If anything, it will do just the opposite or slow growth or stop growth. Now, at the end of the night, the city council voted two to seven. Now, only councilors Feeblecorn and Benton voted in favor of the memoriam, so they did not end up sending this letter asking the state legislator if they would consider repealing a ban on rent control. So I reached out to both the New Mexican Republicans and Democrats to see if rent control was an issue they would bring to the roundhouse in this next session. I haven't yet uh, had any drafted legislation, but it's absolutely something because it's become such an issue um, and many people on the ground, many residents are asking for this opportunity to try to do something and respond well to the crisis we're in. I, you know, it's something that I'm definitely listening to and, and you know, may think about as we get into the 2023 session. Now, I did not hear back from the Republican Party of New Mexico today, but this ban on rent control was passed back in 1992, saying no municipality or a political subdivision can issue rent control or anything that looks or acts like rent control. Only the state has that power, and we'll see if that changes. Back to you. Yep, we'll be watching come January. Spencer, thanks.